Well, basically, I was just like any other 14-year-old uh, kid. Didn't really pay much attention to health. One day, uh, I just like had to piss so bad all week. Just decided to tell my mom about it. For some reason, my mom just like in her head knew that those were symptoms for diabetes, even though that no one, no one in my entire bloodline has had diabetes except for me. When I was 14 and I got diagnosed, I didn't know anyone else with diabetes. So uh, my parents decided to send me to a uh, all-diabetic summer camp uh, called Camp Freedom. Yeah, so I walk inside with my entire family, my mom, dad, and two little siblings, and what we see is we see uh, a group of 17-year-olds. I was 14 at the time. All of them smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Two counselors in there, uh, also smoking, and everyone was already settled in, so it was just me awkwardly... Oh, I should mention, everyone knew each other here. I, because apparently this is like one of those camps that you either go to and you never go again, or you like love it and then go every year. Yeah, so the food was not diabetic friendly. Definitely not, but uh, kids did not notice that because they would just eat whatever they wanted to. This one guy one time ran out of candy because a rat got in it and then ate it. And then he was his blood sugar was super low that night, so he had to drink this other guy's orange juice. That guy didn't appreciate that, so they ended up getting in a fight in the middle of the night. And uh, woke everyone up <laughs> just to see uh, them, them fist fighting. So... Counselors would pretty much do whatever they wanted. The camp director, uh, I think, was maybe 20 years old, maybe, and he did not give a shit either. The counselors would often ask the kids how diabetes works. One actually did not know what insulin was. <laughs> One of the counselors legitimately did not know the only thing you really need to know to take care of a diabetic insulin. People, it's like they didn't know how to care for diabetes, like the campers. Your numbers are supposed to be like between 80 and 130 and their blood sugars would go high and they would just always be in the 400s which is really bad for you, which will really kill you in a few years. That's another thing. It was insanely clicky. There were like jock diabetics, there were nerd diabetics, uh, there were the criminal diabetics that were in my cabin, and all of them sucked. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this camp is fake. I'm not actually convinced that this is the camp because it's, it's, this was in Pittsburgh, and this is telling me Montgomery County, PA, which was definitely not. This is like a bootleg camp of that one. I think it's fake. I think I got scammed because it was really expensive too, if, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. And uh, my parents picked me up at the end of the week. I'm like, what the? F what did you just send me to?